Earth, you got a copy? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good afternoon or good morning, whatever the case may be. Welcome to this edition of Now Space News, Sick. I'm your host, Colin Jason I from Matthew Colin Glass. You may call me Jason, and this is the Now Space News for the week ending in the continuing location of June uh, 25th, 2022. And to start off with, the first headline we're going to look at from this week is from Market Watch, and it says, Stagflation, Reflation, Soft Landing, or a Slump. What Wall Street expects in the second half of 2022. So stagflation. I don't know what that is. Reflation. I don't know what that is either. Soft landing. I have an idea of what that means. Or a slump. So I guess we're given a choice here because or is a conjunction. What Wall Street expects. Well, Wall Street. Is Wall Street an individual that can expect something? Or is Wall Street a street? Like Baker Street. And expect means no pecting. In the second half of 2022, which means, I guess, the year 2022, having to do with, of course, the market. And, you know, a lot of people are talking about a crash and things like that. So let's look at the syntax. We got stagflation, a pronoun, reflation, pronoun, because they're standing by themselves, by themselves, uh, separated by the break in the continuance of the evidence, in this case, a comma. And then we have soft, which is an adjective coloring tangible contract landing into a pronoun. And then we have non-tangible contract conjunction or, which is connecting the two syntax scenarios of adjective pronoun and adverb verb which a slump is adverb verb. And then we have adverb what? Modifying wall into an adjective, which is coloring street into an adjective, which is coloring expect into an adjective. Then we have non-tangible contract pronoun in. And as we know, nothing can follow a pronoun except for a break in the continuance of the evidence or an adverb. And in this case, it is an adverb, which is modifying second, which is an adjective. And that's coloring half, which is a pronoun. And then again, nothing can follow a pronoun except for blah, blah, blah of adverb modifying the dangling participle verb 2022. And that's what's called a fictitious conveyance of grammar. Let's look for some particles of negation. We have, we have RE, we have ING. And of course, any word with a vowel in front of a consonant is no contract. Um, EX is a particle of negation. SE in second is a particle of negation. And let's move on to the next headline. And this comes from the alternative news website called Signs of the Times, SOT.net. And the headline reads, Global planned financial tsunami has just begun. So global planned. So that means the globe, whatever that is. I mean, I know what a globe is, but whatever globe they're talking about, I don't know. I guess is a sentient uh, being and it has planned. And what is it planned? It is planned a financial tsunami. So I know what a tsunami is, but I don't know if there's a such thing as a financial tsunami in a literal sense because planned is past tense. So this has already happened. This has already happened. So we really don't have anything to worry about then, right? Has just begun, but they're saying it has just begun even though it happened in the past. So maybe they're not too sure about their now space location. So we have adjective global, planned, adjective in the past tense. We have adjective financial, so not, it's a, just a bunch of adjectives ending in the pronoun begun. Which, what's that mean? No gun? <laughs> you can look that up and find out for yourself. A couple other headlines down here. Um, objective colon health. Now you see this 
normally in the fiction you would think that there's a space in between this colon and this house but there isn't here uh because you know just like everyone else you know there are lots of employee shortages so maybe sot.net doesn't quite have the caliber of editors that it would prefer and this got by him so I syntax this as one entity because there are no spaces in between these words or punctuations and it is a pronoun uh, standing alone because we have a what looks to be a hyphen here and then we have two spaces on either side of the hyphen so that is a break in the continuance of the evidence excessive spacing and then we have genetically which has that poison suffix ly which poisons a tangible contract word into a non-tangible contract word adverb which is now modifying adjective modified past tense into an adjective and then that is coloring people into a pronoun and then we have newsreel which is a pronoun and then we have the colon which serves as a break in the continuance of the evidence and then we have uh, adjective pronoun adverb dangling participle verb and then it ends with a question mark and an exclamation point so that is a huge violation of rule one rule equal because they're trying to say it's a question as well as a statement and as we know in correct sentence structure it's one word one meaning one function closure and there is no closure here very interesting sot.net i hope you do find some good editors out there Next headline comes from the New York Times. State abortion bans swiftly take effect. Now, looking at this word effect, would you use the E effect or would you use the A affect? Simple question. You can respond in the comments, dear viewer, if you choose. That is a basic fiction grammar question. So we have adjective, adjective, pronoun, and then we have the LY particle of negation poisoning swift into a non-tangible contract adverb, which is modifying take into an adjective, and then that's coloring effect into a pronoun. So state abortion bans. What is the state abortion banning? It's banning swiftly take effect. That's one way to look at it. The way I think they want us to look at it is state abortion bans is actually something that's happening and it's happening swiftly and it's taking effect. So that's interesting that they overturned Roe versus Wade. Um, so going back to the medical issues that were happening in the last two years, that whole my body, my choice seems to, in the fiction, fast, swiftly becoming a thing of the past. Next headline from the Wall Street Journal. Ukrainian troops retreat from Severodonetsk after weeks of brutal battle. So it looks like Ukrainian troops are moving back from this place, well, I don't know if it's a city or a, or a province or whatever it is, it's a location, uh, after having a brutal battle for weeks. One thing I noticed in the fiction is they really love to use alliteration. Dear viewer, if you don't know what that is, feel free to Google it. It's a very uh, powerful uh, poetic tool. I just did it myself in the fiction. So we have adjective, adjective, pronoun, and we have adverb, verb, adverb, verb, adverb, adjective, pronoun. For Russians, capturing the city, now a largely depopulated and uninhabited wasteland comes at a huge cost in lives and equipment. So this is the way the Wall Street Journal is basically shaping our perception. It's always that the Russians are the bad guys and that whoever we, as when I say we, I mean past tense United States or Americans, whoever we support or whoever we approve of, those are the good guys automatically. But if you put yourself in a Russian's shoes, you may have a different perspective on all of this that's going on. Or put yourself in a Ukrainian shoes or anyone in those surrounding countries to find out what's really going on 
because we sitting here looking at this mainstream media drivel don't really know anything except for this fictitious of conveyance of grammar that we are being fed by the Wall Street Journal, which is an adverb, adjective, adjective, pronoun, condition of state. Next headline comes from Axios, which says, A.G. Garland, states can't ban FDA-approved abortion pills on safety grounds. So I guess if, if you're on a safe ground, then the FDA uh, or states cannot ban abortion pills that have been approved if you're on a safe ground. So maybe if you're not on a safe ground, that might not work so well for you. All right. Next headline comes from Cointelegraph. Into the crypto world, uphold withdraws with Venezuela citing U.S. sanctions. So uphold, if you don't know, dear viewer, is a crypto wallet, to the best of my knowledge. And it looks as though they're saying that they're withdrawing with Venezuela. What exactly they're withdrawing in, in conjunction with Venezuela, I'm not sure what that is. But whatever it is they're withdrawing with Venezuela has to do with sanctions uh, implemented by us. And by us, I mean past tense, United States. By the way, to go back to this, think about all the people, if anybody in Venezuela that use the wallet Uphold and they have values in there, crypto values, and now they can't access their crypto. And this is the issue with crypto that I've gone over with lots of people. I know there are a lot of crypto maximalists who feel that crypto is the thing for the future and that this is where we're going. And But what happens, crypto maximalists, when or if, I said when, I mean if, the grid goes down, there's no electricity, there's no internet, and you have one of those little cold storage wallets or a soft wallet like Uphold, what value does that have now that you cannot access it when your battery runs out? Parse the word crypt. Find out what it means. That's my suggestion. So from USA Today, we have exclusive black congresswoman, congresswomen, sorry, urge Biden to declare public health a national emergency around abortion. So I wonder who in the USA Today is able to identify and define what a congresswoman is exactly. Because if a Supreme Court judge cannot and will not define what a woman is, how can a lowly US Today, USA Today journalist do so? I can say that's an assumption. So it is an exclusive, and that exclusive is a pronoun, a black congresswoman. So we have black congresswomen, so we have a color to the congresswomen. And if you saw my video on my Coral Blade Grotto channel regarding racism, you will know that this is racist. To identify color in this way, to prove favoritism towards a color, is racism. Urge, Biden, we know who that is, right? to declare public health and national emergency. So they want Biden to declare public health and national emergency around abortion. So first we have to locate where abortion is, and then we gotta get Biden over there in that location and then have him no clear a public, self, uh, public health and national emergency. So first we have to locate abortion, find out where that is, and then get Biden over there. And hopefully he doesn't fall up any stairs or fall off of his bike on the way there, and then have him talk about public health and national emergency. Yeah. All right. So that does it for the headlines for today. And um, what I wanted to talk about a couple other things, one of them being that one of the individuals that I actually follow on YouTube
and you can see his picture here. His name is Chuck Barone or Baroni. He mentioned in a recent video that he had heard that they were modifying gas pumps around the past tense United States so that they can accommodate an extra digit in their readouts. So they're preparing for something, allegedly. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But again, I'll repeat it one time, one more time, I mean, that this man said that he heard that they are modifying gas pumps around the country to accommodate an extra digit because there's not enough digit places on the readouts to accommodate the numbers that are coming down the pike. And I would be <clears throat> negligent if I didn't mention this next individual, Brother Gregory Manorino, who I've been watching his channel for two years and he has been correct most of the time up until the last month or two He's made a couple missed calls, but everyone makes mistakes. And I love to watch this guy because he knows what he's talking about. And he's humble enough to admit his mistakes, which is huge. When you see someone doing that publicly, that tells me a lot about that individual. So here's the two channels you can check out if you're interested in the economy and the fiction system, what's going on in the fiction financial system. Check these two uh, individuals out. Highly recommend it. All right, <clears throat> so I'd like to draw everybody in and uh, say thanks for watching this edition of Now Space News. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, like always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments field. I'll look at them because this is an ever-evolving program. I would love to make it the way you want to see it. Uh, someone said, you know, I was going to take the syntaxing out, and someone said, no, 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 it's necessary. Uh, like Jorge Masvidal said in Florida, it's super necessary. So... I've done that now, as you can see, I syntax every single headline, whether I talk about it or not, I do put the syntax in there for you. Because I wanna make this a program that everyone values and uh, gets informed at the same time about what's going on in this now space continuum. Thank you very much, and I wish you peace. Till next time, salut.